Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Jojo Palacio and on this channel we talk about all things beauty, skincare, makeup, faith, passion, motivation, anything that's related to all of those subjects. And we are here today to talk about a transfer proof foundation makeup routine. Looking through my videos and scrolling, I notice that you guys really do love that subject. And let's just be real. <laughs> Masks are not going anywhere anytime soon. I am a full-time nurse and I know it. I really do advocate for using them and just protecting yourself and those around you. Um, but I wanted to show you guys a full coverage, high-end version of this. I also want to show you a drugstore version of it, so comment down below and let me know if that's something you're interested in. Um, before we get into this video, I want to go ahead and show you in the intro that this is truly a transfer proof situation. So this is a clean tissue, nothing on it. We are going to go ahead and pat this all over. Boom, 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 boom. Nothing, nothing transferred onto this tissue paper. And that is just proof that this routine here, once you use it and you apply it, will have you locked and loaded, ready to go. I'm actually getting ready to go out myself tonight and I do wear masks. And I feel like this technique, when applied in these steps, will truly guarantee you a transfer proof situation. These products are some of my favorite high-end products for these type of situations, plus on an everyday type of basis anyways. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you are shocked, just like I am, keep watching this video so that you are able to learn on how to make your foundation transfer proof, as well as like the video and comment down below. Tell me your thoughts. Tell me what setting sprays you've tried this technique with and how it worked out for you. So let's get started. All right, guys, so we're gonna start with eyes already done because we're focusing on complexion today. So ah, I'm so excited to go through this transfer proof makeup moment just because I know that you guys really did enjoy the last series that I did on this and I featured both drugstore and high end and I'm thinking about repeating that. So comment in down below, that way I know that you guys are interested in seeing both options. Today we're doing high end transfer proof foundation. Now. Let's talk about skin prep because skin prep is absolutely important when it comes to transfer proof. Your makeup needs absolutely not only to look good, but to wear well um, a good base. So I've already got my moisturizer on and now we're going to use our primer. So we're using two different primers today because I'm combination skin. And combination skin just means that I have a little more uh, pore oil development in my T-zone. And then I've got some dryness going on towards the outer perimeter of my face, but this will help me address both. So. My go-to primer for oil control, for pore control, is this Dr. Brandt Pores No More. It is the best. And not only that, what I like about this, and I tell clients all the time, is that it's got medication in it to help minimize the size of your pores over time. So this is absolutely a staple in my collection. And then the All Nighter by Urban Decay is an amazing face primer. This guy is gonna help hydrate. It's also gonna help grip the makeup so that it wears well. So moving on, this foundation has to be my favorite foundation ever for full coverage, no transfer, no oxidation, long wear. This is the Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation. It's a 24 hour wear foundation. Full coverage, like I said, I use it in the shade 2.8 and I am a neutral undertone, so that's what I go off of when I pick my foundations. Now, this foundation on its own, it's pretty amazing, but today we're gonna be trying a little TikTok hack moment and we're gonna mix it with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. So this combination here, it's what's going to make your foundation truly transfer proof. So what I've done on the back of my hand is taken a pea size amount of the foundation and two spritzes of the setting spray and I'm actually gonna add a little more. This foundation, again, on its own is 24 hour wear. It's got really good coverage. What the setting spray is gonna do is just gonna help further the wearability and the transferability of this foundation. You guys can see how much coverage and how even this foundation just makes my skin. I forgot how much I love this. Okay, so our base is on and I can tell you that as it's drying with that setting spray mixed into it, I can already feel 
how this is going to be 100% transfer proof. I'm so excited. All right, so we're gonna move on to the rest of our routine, which is going to be the contouring and the bronzing. So I'm gonna use creams and then we're gonna set with powders. Now I'm not gonna mix the setting spray into this, but I do want to, in between each layer, apply a little bit of the setting spray, work it in with the sponge to make sure that we are locking everything in with our all nighter. So this is the Milk Makeup Flex Foundation Stick. I use it in the shade medium tan to help me warm up and just kind of bronze everything up. My foundation, 2.18, isn't necessarily the best shade for me when I'm tan. This is the Fenty Matchstick in Mocha. I love this as a cream contour. It's so good. I'm going to use a buffing brush by BF Cosmetics to help blend this out. I like to do my bronzer before I do my concealer because it helps shape the face. You get a chance to give yourself a little bit of color, but then I can also correct if I've overdone it with the concealer after. I love my complexion after cream contouring and bronzing because honestly, it's the most natural way to contour without caking. It just looks so, so good. So next up, we're gonna do our concealer. And for concealer, I am gonna spray down the concealer with the All Nighter Setting Spray. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to put my Hourglass Vanish Concealer, which is in the shade Apricot. This is the shade that I use to conceal um, in the very inner corner. I'm gonna use this in the center of my forehead. And really with this foundation, that's the only other area that I need coverage just because I did not apply foundation to those areas. So the color correcting shade or the concealing shade is to help get rid of any redness, any blue tones, any unevenness there. So I'm gonna use my sponge, my setting spray. We're going to spritz and work that into the sponge. And then we're gonna blend this in. Again, this is just to work the products in between making sure that we get the same type of coverage and finish all throughout. Okay, I can only imagine what your next question is. Well, why are you using two concealers? What is highlighting? What is concealing? So for highlighting, I'm actually gonna jump up two to three shades brighter than what my actual concealing shade is. The concealing shade should be the same color as your foundation or your skin. Regardless, it's gonna help just conceal and color correct blemishes, redness, blue purple undertones versus the highlighting shade is going to be a lot lighter and it is meant to help bring forward certain areas in your face. So what I'm going to do with this is very similar to what I do with my foundation. This is a Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer. I'm going to take that, spritz it with my Urban Decay in the back of my hand, mix that into each other. Again, this is a very good full coverage, long wearing concealer anyways. I don't want to waste any. So I'm gonna put that in the areas where I would highlight and I wanna work that in with a, I'm gonna put it where I want it first with this brush and then, then we will move on to a sponge. So to highlight, I want it to look like there is a nice glowy orb following me around and it would hit the high points of my face which are cheekbones, forehead, chin, and nose. All right, so next I'm going to use setting powder. I'm gonna use my Hourglass Mineral Veil Setting Powder. I'm gonna put this very lightly in my midsection just to help make sure that everything is where it's gonna stay where it's supposed to. Using a sponge. the type of powder that you use is very important. Mineral Veil is a translucent setting powder that's got minerals crushed into it as well as a talc-free product, which means that it's not gonna cake up or sit in lines. And it's very lightly formulated. It's meant for all skin types. I really, truly like this powder a lot. Moving on, we're gonna finish my under eye area and then I will be back to talk to you guys about how I'm gonna finish up this look. But for the most part, this is what's gonna make your foundation transfer proof. Using your setting powder in between your layers, mixing it into the most important part, which is your foundation and your concealer, because when you wear your masks, 
and whatnot, that is the area that's being touched by the mask is this under eye area and around your mouth. So I am going to finish the rest of my makeup and I will be back to show you the finished result as well as talk about your thoughts. I wanna hear it in the comments if you've tried this or if you've tried a different setting spray and you like it or if it didn't work. Let me know, I'll be right back. All right guys, so I'm back with the final finished look. I did a nude lip because we're so smoky and so sultry and I'm obsessed with it. You can see that even though we mixed that setting spray into our full coverage foundation, it did not mess up the way that anything else applied on top of it. I noticed as I was blending that everything went on very smoothly, very easily, which was a concern of mine because when you mess with the formulation of something, it can really alter everything else. So, so far, so good. We are going to do the last check. I know that you guys saw me do this at the beginning of the video, but I just wanted to show you guys again how even with everything layered, there is no transferring. Clean tissue paper. I'm gonna put it over my lips because clearly it's gonna transfer on my lips, but ha, clean. So that is my transfer proof foundation routine. The products that we applied over it are not transfer proof. However, I did set with my Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray at the end just to make sure that everything was as solid as the base. So I hope that you guys liked this video. Hit the thumbs up if you did. Don't forget that I want to do a drugstore version of this, including a drugstore setting spray, drugstore foundation. Try to mix things up just so you guys have variety and price range availability. So like always, love you guys, bless you guys, and I will see you guys next time.